Hello, this is Siren, and welcome back to another long-awaited edition of Know How Things Work. So there has been a long hiatus between episodes. I want to address that, and that's actually the theme I want to tie into today's episode, which is Lyme disease. According to the CDC, Lyme disease is the fastest growing insect-borne infectious illness in the United States. In fact, in the time it takes you to watch this show, 17 people will be diagnosed and potentially face a lifetime of physical, psychological, and economic suffering as a result. Pamela Levine, uh, she had a revelation. She's been struggling with Lyme disease. It's a five-month battle. It's left her bedridden. Sometimes she can't even talk or move, and Paula Ferris has her story. According to new estimates this week by the Centers for Disease Control, 300,000 people each year contract the tick-borne Lyme disease a number that's 10 times more common than previously thought. Dr. Rick Spinagle admits his peers once called him a quack for sounding the alarm about Lyme disease almost a decade ago. The CDC now calls it 10 times more common than doctors previously thought, with 300,000 cases a year. So I was diagnosed with it after uh, a couple of years of, of pretty hardcore symptoms, and in fact having to really ramp down all my businesses last year and put that stuff offline and just focus on getting well, kind of like cancer patients sort of have to uh, have their life interrupted. So I wanna talk about what Lyme disease is because I didn't know and I had to spend an enormous amount of time finding out how to test for it, how to, how to know what it is and how to treat it. Um, and I also wanna talk about how to avoid it. There are ways, uh, there are definitely ways if you can catch, since it's a bug-based thing, if you can catch the source of it. So let's get right into it. So first of all, the reason I wanted to do this, I think the timing is excellent because in the news right now, we see all of this uh, celebrity uh, make the news. We've got Avril Lavigne, everybody from her to George Bush, Daryl Hall, his entire family has it, uh, Jamie Lynn Siegler. I mean, the list goes on and on. So let's look at what is it. So Lyme disease is a bacteria called Borrelia burgdorferi. And you guessed it, it was uh, discovered by a doctor in 1981 named Dr. Borgdorfer. And this bacteria is transmitted primarily through ticks. This is the main thing that we know transmits this. There are speculations it comes from spider bites and other insects, but we know for sure it comes from most different ticks. Um, they go into your skin, they dig their little head in, they actually take some of your blood, it warms the bacteria, they put it back into your body. And in fact, the, the why Lyme disease is very difficult to diagnose from symptoms alone is because a lot of these bugs aren't just carrying that, uh, that bacteria. The tick is transmitting a lot of other problems to you. Now, here's the good news. If you catch the tick bite or the bug bite early on, what you wanna do is you wanna save the tick uh, if you can, you want to pull it out intact, alive or dead is, you know, dead is fine, but you want to take the whole thing out, grab it by the head. There are links in the description below so that you can get to the CDC's actual visuals on this. So you want to get the tick out, you want to save it, and you want to send that in for testing as well. Now, this is a small window that you have before it gets chronic, before it actually enters the rest of the body. There are lots and lots of reports showing that antibiotics seem to be very effective at this stage. So if you get the bug bite, you have a, a window of somewhere under a month to treat with like an oral dose, like a 28 day oral dose of high dose of antibiotics of some kind. So you wanna immediately get on that, you wanna test the bug. Um, if it sets in after that, it becomes something else and that's what I had. So mine is now chronic. So last year it started, uh, or a couple years ago, it started from joint pain. It became neurological. I started feeling vibrations in my whole body. Uh, backed up with tinnitus that would be very intermittent. It would get very loud in one ear, then turn off, move to the other ear. It was uh, very strange. And then chronic fatigue, candida. I tested positive for heavy metals. All of these things are part of Lyme disease. These little guys actually collect a lot of minerals and a lot of heavy metals that normally your body would get rid of. So you end up testing positive for a whole bunch of different things, which is why a lot of doctors don't get to Lyme disease. They think they keep cornering the, uh, the main issue. So there's only a couple of really good ways to test for it. Um, in the United States, there's one company that focuses on it called Igenix. So if you suspect that you have symptoms for this, you should get this test. There's, there is nothing else that's quite as, uh, that has fewer false negatives. Like this one is pretty, about the best that we have to test for this disease. Um, again, the links are below. 
you can have your doctor usually order this test or you yourself can order it, bring it to your doctor to get the blood work done. It's a very simple test. Um, anyhow, so that is if you suspect you have it. So you, there's talked about treatment in the early phases. I'm, I'm not going to go into treatment in later phases because it's really complicated and that's, I may share my story, I will probably share my story in a future podcast episode as I get further down the road. Um, definitely I'm back on my feet now and kind of uh, re-engaging in life in a lot of ways. But um, it's very nasty. So if you miss the first phase, it will interrupt your life. If it gets set into your body, it will definitely interrupt your life and you don't want that. So hopefully you can catch it early. Um, but again, there are ways of dealing with it once it sets in. And what you should do if you suspect you have it, and especially uh, if, you have the, if you want to do the testing, is look in your area for a local Lyme literate doctor known as an LLMD. You can Google that in the basic area you're in, and you should be able to find lists of people in your area that are very familiar, medical doctors that are very familiar with, with uh, uh, Lyme patients and how to treat them. So that's it for now. I just wanted to do a basic introduction again and uh, sort of explain why the hiatus and I hope to be back in action more than I have been um, on this channel. Thank you again for watching. Thank you again for supporting those of you who uh, have financial contributions. Uh, and if you'd like to support below, there's a couple ways to do that. One, if you like the music, buy it on iTunes. It's all mine. Uh, there are links to the songs that you've heard at the beginning and end of this show, as well as you can set up a regular one, two, three dollar a month donation. Thank you again for supporting. I'm Siren for Know How Things Work, and we'll see you very soon on the next episode. Thank you.